Alright, hello Why? everyone, and welcome back to Assassin's here? Creed, no, where I... we've got a cutscene. And, My yes. Come live with them. Yeah, probably a good idea, my dear. He's, he's not good for you. You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, no, but my not really. Right. I mean, you had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? Because he wants to be a pirate, wage. which you know is fun that for me. Probably not good for you, though, lady. To a peasant, the whole of your life. All right, Edward. All right. Are you nope. now, yep, you she's she's gone, man. Yeah, she's Caroline. gone. You lost her, dude. Oh, but yes, welcome. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed, uh, where, yeah, I just loaded up my game and it started right into the cutscene, so I hit the record button. But, uh, yep, all right, so we're in Great Iguana, 1716. I've still got my rockin' pirate outfit on. He left this morning with the galleon, as faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. Ah, yes. I will make something of it in time. All right, so, what is it we are doing like. now? With a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Ah, so this is where I'm going to make my homestead, is it? You're married, are you? In God's eyes, well, man. technically, she left. Some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. No, well, rum and plunder is fun. Okay, so we have ourselves a cove now, I take it. Alright, oh, new objective. Follow James Kidd. Alright, he's heading up that way. What why are you nope? Off the palm tree. There we go. And where did he go? Ah, back this way. Okay, I was about to say, it's like, um, he's in the jungle then, I guess. All right, fair enough. Let's keep it moving. Running back through the jungle after our little hacking break. Did you? I found something too. That. I'll get later, though. Let's, let's keep following kid. And see what they've got for me. Up the tree. Over the downed log. Ah, all right. So, we found some ruins. Excellent. Odd-looking things, aren't they? A little bit. Old and weathered. Yeah, yeah. Is this what they call Mayan, or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. Yeah, a little bit. No worse than the next man. Why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't, well, yeah, I don't like to brag and all. It's, uh, you know, got some skills. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Oh, okay, fair enough. Righto. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Okay, so this is supposed to be the, the tutorial here. All right, eagle vision on. Kind of shimmering. You understand? Yeah, yep. Yeah. I've seen its light before. Glowing like moonlight on the ocean. Moonlight on the ocean, huh? Ah, oh, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. Have you? It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? The sea stuff. Alright, so. Alright, so now that I'm on top of here, E to interact. Oh. Oh, we've got a thing. So we can move it around. Ah, all right. I th think I see it here. Let's just move the, this. Uh, no, actually, I don't have it. All right. Let's. No. Maybe that. Yes, that should do it. There we go. All right, so it's a lot of scrolling around and using the wasd keys to move. Interesting. Only I thought it was related in some way to my dreaming. 
or the like. Most never find it. Others, it takes years. To Interesting. But for a rare few, it comes as natural as breathing. Ah. The feel is the light of life. Of living things past and present. The residue of vitality. So that's what the whole Eagle Vision stuff is then, huh? can be tuned well past what he's born with. If he tries... That's interesting. I actually have always kind of wondered about the Eagle Vision thing. It was never really well explained in the previous Assassin's Creed games, so that's cool. So, all right, we, we've found this. We're going to dig it up now. To find... A, you are a gifted man, Edward. A thing. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. Oh, man. Ah, interesting. A few dozen, I think. This way. Oh, God, another collectible. So many collectibles. <laughs> All right, so that is going to be these. Mine still. Whoa, there are a lot of them over here. Ha. Huh. Oh, and down here, too, I guess. And a few scattered on these islands. Wow, I really haven't unlocked much of the map. I mean, look at that. A little part of the map, little part of the map, little part of the map. <laughs> hey, oh well. Works for me. Ah! I found something else then. Okay, so following along. Excellent, I enjoy a good mystery. I missed a chest back there, but oh well. I'll have to go back through all the stuff on this island anyways. Oh, yes. Interesting. Here we are. Ooh, treasure think? chest. I think Monsieur de Casse is a man of many secrets. Yes. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. <laughs> All right. What do you suppose lies at the top? I don't know, but I want to open this chest. Oh, I can't open the chest. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, let's follow Kid up the staircase and what I knew of de Casse. figure it out be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. Yeah, it's a possibility. A collection of thumb screws. Ooh, fun. <laughs> oh, and instead we find a house. Which I'm guessing I'm claiming as my own. Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Mm-hmm. Try the key you took from Ducas. Ah, uh, so that's where we're doing with that. Only four left. Another collectible. Oh, God. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? Ah, yes, They've the Templars. They to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning, then? A little bit. If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Well, I, could. I wouldn't go that far. It leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. Thank you. I always like a good bad excuse. Okay. So. These are the Templar hunts we can go on. That's interesting. Another thing for the map. I like it. I like it. Always good to have more things on the map. So now we are to go and meet James Kidd. But first... Loot. Ah, yes. Loot. And apparently, I have some upgrades available for me. Nice. Always good. And that's three of the ten chests here at Great Iguana. Ha. Huh. Interesting name for a place. Ooh, I've got a nice house. So I'm guessing this is mine now. I'm not 100% certain on that, but considering the intro sequence where, you know, they were going on about that, uh, that this would make a nice place for a fleet. I'm assuming that's the case. Hmm. Where is that vantage po Ah, it's that up there. Okay. Well, I'll go get it another time. Let's actually go down and meet Kid down that way. Is there a... Ooh. Ah, there we go. Leap of faith. That is what I was looking for. Out we go. 
Uh, Vigi game physics. Because, <laughs> you know, that's such a easily survivable fall for some palm fronds. Yeah. Alright. Wow, I've got a much larger ship than Kit has. Here's mine. There's his. Though I wouldn't complain if I personally owned a ship like that. It would be quite nice. I do love ships. Oh, I was actually supposed to be on the dock. And... Meet him up. Alright. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better ah, so it is my home. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made man. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. You sure about that? Who am I then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Well, like yeah, I mean dangerous prizes are the best prizes. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Be me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. Right oh. I'm to show you there in a few weeks' time. Okay, so... We're going to learn some more things. Ooh, 100% me memory sync for this old cove. There was there was really no objectives there, so that's kind of a freebie 100%. All right, well, while you sail out, I'm going to investigate this whole this is my island or cove rather. Let's uh check out what's new here. We have hideout upgrades and I'm guessing that's one right there that it is wanting me to go and look at. But I have a word, sir. Sure. E. I've eaten coin to set up the shipyard, Captain. Ah, it would be good to have a shipyard. The needful gold, the sooner our ships will rule the waves. Excellent, excellent. So how much will this cost? Really, just 500 for a harbor master? That's not bad at all. We will purchase. Excellent. Place already looks nicer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a harbor master now. What is this guy one over here? Spare me your jugs, just a wee bit. Very well. Sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little mm. coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion. It would be nice to have a place for debauching and whatnot. So we need a tavern. Oh, you always need a tavern. Oh, that one's a bit more expensive. Thirty-five hundred reals. You know what? We've got the money. Let's do it. Very nice. Very nice. You done an old salt proud, Captain. Indeed I have. Alright. So we've got a harbor master and a tavern now. What does this fellow want? Very well. I need coin to build a little emporium. I'd be ever obliged. An emporium shop would bring in many a useful ware for you as repayment. Uh, it would be good to have a shop around, and only 700. That is a steal. Excellent. We'll have a shop there. We can purchase new outfits and, I guess, and stuff. Things. Things are good, too. All right. What does this guy want up here? Oh, well, there's lots of things coming up. We've got two other upgrades. Hello? Interact? Oh, yes. Ooh, we do need good sellers. I know just where to find them, but we need to build them a home. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. We need a brothel, which I don't have the money for. Another day, my friend. I like how it's just hired dancers. It's a brothel. That's not what you're going to there for. Okay, well, we'll decline for now, because I don't have the money. I'll be back again one day, my friend. One day. All right, let's see what this person wants. I really need more money. Why am I walking up the palm tree? I did not tell you to do that. There we go. E. Why not build ourselves a grand old bonfire by the beach? The lads would be in better cheer if they had such a spot to let loose. Interesting. So they've got a tavern, but they want a bonfire, and the fire is seven thousand. The freaking tavern wasn't even that much money. Go to the tavern if you want to let off steam. It it. it Oh, a place to hire drunken pirates. Oh, lovely, because that's the kind of pirates I want. I want good men, not drunkards. 
but that may be hard to come by here. Yeah, <laughs> so let's let's actually take a look at the map. See if we can... Ooh, there is another update, or upgrade rather, over here. Let's go and check that out. Oh, that's actually up at my house. Ah, lovely. Ooh, I'm actually kind of thinking... Oh, I'm stuck in the terrain there. Lovely. I'm assuming that there's going to be more than just one upgrade for the house. I mean, there was a lot of... A lot of stuff up there. Hmm, but yeah, I do need a lot more reals before I can do the other upgrades for our cove down there. Let's check out what we have available for the home. Because, of course, as we all know, home is where the heart is. And, well, I need a place to keep my hearts. I mean, <laughs> all right, let's, let's go inside and check this out. For some reason, I can't run in here. I can only briskly jog. There we are. This still doesn't quite feel like home. No, it doesn't. So, whoa, manor facade, six thousand. Nope, don't have. Just short on that one too. Just short. Wow, really? That is only one upgrade. That's interesting. I wonder if it then unlocks more. That would make sense, but eh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I actually think that is going to be it for this episode. We've uh, interacted a bit with James Kidd, figured out the ruins situation. We now have a cove to call home and are able to now upgrade this area, buy new buildings and stuff like that. Uh, which is cool, which is cool. Always nice to have things to, uh, you know, basically stuff to call or go out uh, there can't talk things to have your name to there we go I can synchronize excellent my lovely little cove down there my nice little pirate haven screw Nassau I've got my own place now uh, but yeah so I hope you have enjoyed this episode and come back for the next when we go and meet James Kidd at what was it 23 degrees or so Ooh, a treasure map over there Ooh, oh actually let's Check out the map now. Oh, ho, ho, look at all that stuff. We got some hunting spots. There's a message in a bottle down there. Oh, so many things for me to collect. Oh, God. That's going to take a little while, which will be done, of course, off camera. So, <laughs> by the next time you, you guys come on here to uh, watch the videos, uh, there'll be much more things and uh, nicer things, hopefully. Perhaps I'll even have a few... More of these things upgraded. Uh, but yes, until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.